so next we will take uh, another another problem so so many uh, you, you know in this case now we are seeing that your rc circuit next we have to see the rl circuit uh, right and uh, once dc part will be over we will go for your uh, what you call single phase ac circuit and uh, uh, what you call that your um, resonance then your maximum power transfer in ac circuit those things then your three phase circuit then magnetic circuit then three things are the long way to go. So, uh, DC for transient and other part I have solved lot of problems for you, but for AC circuit uh, we will solve very little because complex number will be involved right. So, anyway come to the next problem. So, hope you are understanding this. So, this is actually you have to find out for this circuit you have to find out that you are in uh, your in this figure you have to find out that your V C T uh, determine V C T after the switch is closed right. So, switch is closed and initially value of V C 0 plus is given 3 volt, it is given V C 0 uh, plus is equal to 3 volt it is given. Now, switch is closed that means, switch is closed right. So, uh, if his switch is closed and uh, our, our we have to find out V C T. So, initial value of V C 0 known we have to only find out there what you call that V C infinity. So, as switch is closed for long time, so this your what you call this after long time this capacitor will act as open circuit right. So, that means, uh, your if I make the circuit once like this it is something like this hope it is understandable to you this is 8 volt right and this is your this this is 8 volt and this is your 1 kilo ohm this is kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm and capacitor is connected somewhere here this is open capacitor is open and then your one third kilo ohm right and this is open and voltage across this is V c say plus minus, but this is open that means current will flow through like this because at steady state or at in t tends to infinity your capacitor I mean a switch in general switch is closed for long time. So, that you have to find out the current and then you have to find out what is the voltage across the capacitor. So, if it is so then first if this is the current I say then I, I can put it say I infinity because capacitor uh, your what you call switch was closed for long time. So, it is 8 volt right 8 volt it is kilo ohm right it is kilo ohm. So, I will write like this 1 plus 1 by 3 as it is kilo ohm. So, it will be your milli ampere it will be milli ampere right. So, it is 8 by 1 plus 1 so that means it is equal to actually 8 into 3 by 4 that is your 6 milliampere right. So, that means what is the what is that uh, your what you call V c infinity then. So, I am making it here for you I am writing on it V c infinity will be this is your I infinity and this capacitor and this as uh, your what you call is uh, this one third kilo ohm resistance is will connected across the capacitor. So, V c infinity will be I infinity that is your 6 milli ampere right and this is your one third kilo ohm. So, it is volt. So, basically it is equal to 2 volt. So, V c infinity will be 2 volt right 3 6 2 volt right because it is 6 is your milli ampere and this is kilo ohm. So, it is 2 volt. So, V c infinity is 2 volt. So, let us see right and time constant one more thing is there time constant is also there right time constant this this is your close right and you have to find out your r thevenin uh, from this point only at this point only because capacitor is acting as open circuit right and this for getting r thevenin this voltage source will be shorted right. So, you will get r thevenin right is equal to your 1 into 1 by 3 then 1 is it this 1 kilo ohm and 1 third kilo are in parallel right because you, these are finding out from this point only. So, divided by 1 plus 1 by 3. So, it is 1 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 right. So, that is R thevenin is equal to your 1 by 4 kilo ohm right and capacitor is 2 microfarad. So, time constant tau is equal to C R R thevenin C R thevenin. So, it is 2 microfarad that means 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and this is into your 1 by 4 kilo ohm. So, 1 by 4 into 
10 to the power 3, whatever is coming calculation is shown later, right. So, let me clear it. So, that means, this is the uh, this is the circuit I told you, uh, I mean uh, the way I told you, right. So, R thibnin is equal to 1 by 4 kilo ohm, I told you how to calculate it, everything is here, right. C R thibnin I just told you, it will be half into 10 to the power minus 3 second, right. And V C infinity also calculated for you, it is 2 volt that also cal I calculated for you and therefore, use, use this standard formula that V C T generalized formula rather V C T is equal to V C infinity plus V C 0 minus V C infinity to the power minus T by tau. So, V C infinity is 2 volt, V C 0 3, V C infinity 2 and it is e to the power minus 2000 your T right substitute tau and you will get e to the power minus 2000 T. So, V C T will be 2 plus e to the power minus 2000 T volt for T greater than 0 right. So, this answer. So, next is next is circuit I will show you the switch in the circuit shown in figure 46 has been in position A for a long time. So, this is the circuit this this was in position A for long time right at t is equal to 0 the switch moves instantaneously to position B determine V c t V 0 t I 0 t part B the total energy dissipated in the 60 kilo ohm resistor right. So, this switch or a, a this uh, the, the switch was in a position A for long time after that it uh, move at t is equal to 0 it moves from A to B right. So, you have to find out V c t V 0 t I 0 t. So, this is your V c t that is the voltage across the capacitor this is your I 0 t right and this is voltage across 240 kilo ohm resistor is V 0 t. So, all these things you have to obtain V c t V 0 t I 0 t. Now, a switch in this position was for long time, right? Switch has been in the position for long time. The capacitor was open circuited DC. As it was in the long position, so capacitor here was open, I mean steady state for this part, left hand side, right? So, capacitor was at open circuited. So, naturally, Vc 0 minus is equal to take 100 volt <coughs> is equal to Vc 0 plus because your voltage through the capacitor when switch move, uh, move from position A to P, it cannot change instantaneously. So, V c 0 minus will be 100 volt because switch was at position A for long time that means, capacitor is acting as open circuit right. So, directly V c 0 plus uh, 0 minus will be 100 volt right. So, not saying again and again it is understandable to you right. Now, at T 0 plus switch moves from A to B that is your the switch actually moving from A to B and this is the circuit this is 32 kilo ohm and 240 and 60 kilo ohm are in parallel right these two are in parallel. Now, e as uh, uh, their equivalent will be that your R thibnin will be 32 plus 240 into 60 upon 240 plus 60 whatever it comes it is 80 kilo ohm right and capacitor is 0 uh, 0.5 microfarad therefore, tau is equal to C into R thibnin. So, it is 0 0.04 second right. Now, in note that in figure say that if the DC voltage source is present right in in this figure if this here the air if you look into that it is a basically source free circuit there is no source because if you look into that there is no and uh, this capacitor is charged at uh, your what you call at 100 volt right and, uh, and when it will be uh, and at and when it will be your what you call at t tends to infinity that all the energy will be dissipated in the resistor so this is a basically source free circuit that means vc infinity will be zero because there is no source in the circuit it is a capacitor only initial it was charged at 100 volt right. So, that is why your what you call that no DC voltage source is present and V c infinity is 0 but right because energy stored in the capacitor will be dissipated in the resistor this, this circuit is something like a source free circuit right. So, in this case V c infinity will be 0. So, now we know that generalized formula say V c t is equal to V c infinity plus V c 0 minus V c infinity is equal to minus T by tau. So, V c t is equal to a V c infinity is 0. So, th that means, V c V and V c 0 is equal to 100. So, V c t will be 100 e to the power minus 25 t volt for t greater than 0. Now, if you come that V 0 t will be V c t by 18 to uh, this thing. Now, if you come to the circuit that your V c t is now V c t is known you have to find out your V 0 t. Now, question is that that uh, when we try to find out look at look at this one right we are writing V 0 t is equal to V c t upon 80 into 40 right. 
So, V c t V 0 t is equal to V c t upon 8 t into 40 right. So, if you look into your uh, what you call your if you look into this one your this circuit. So, these two are in parallel 240 into 60 and this is 32. So, arthibnin is becoming your what you call 32 plus this one your uh, 80 80 kilo ohm, but this uh, total but uh, just hold on this is actually uh, this is actually 32 plus 48 right. So, uh, this this is 48 and this is your 32 total is 80 kilo ohm. So, if you look into this let me clear it. Now, if you look into this that this part your V 0 t will V c t by 80 into 48. So, it will be 60 to your minus 5 t. So, little bit you do it this one this part little I told you little bit you do it. So, it will be t greater than 0 and I t I 0 t will be V 0 t upon 60 upon this one. So, I 0 t that is your this if you come to the original circuit this is the I 0 t right this is uh, your 60 and when it is circuit is closed when circuit is closed right this this is actually I 0 t. So, not shown in this figure this is here it is there here it is I 0 and this capacitor this 240 60 all are in parallel. So, it will be V c t upon 60 kilo ohm right uh, your milli ampere. So, it will be your uh, I 0 t will be V 0 t upon 60 it is uh, into 10 to the power 3 whatever it comes it is e to the power minus 25 milli ampere for t greater than 0. Now, total power dissipated in the 60 kilo ohm resistor is P 60 is equal to I 0 square t right into your R that is R is 60 kilo ohm 60 into 10 to the power 3 that is it is 60 e to the power minus your 50 t milli watt t greater than 0. Now, energy dissipated in the 60 kilo ohm resistor is that you have to take integration 0 to infinity right. So, I 0 square t into R if you integrate and simplify and I 0 t is known to you that e to the power minus 25 t you put it here you put it here and you integrate you will get 1.2 milli joule this is the answer right. So, next this one you take in figure 48 the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 determine I for t greater than 0 given that V c 0 is 0. That means, initially switch was open and initial values of voltage across the capacitor is 0 and you have to determine I for t greater than 0 when the switch is closed right. So, in that case what will happen that uh, your initially your uh, what you call as soon as the, the switch is closed as soon as you close the switch that right. So, capacitor acts like a short circuit that means, a little bit understanding is required. Suppose, it is given that switch is the, the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 that we initially switch was open now switch is closed at t is equal to 0 means this is short circuit. If this is short circuit this 20 milli ampere current it has no effect on this one because as it is a short circuit current will I just I am making it for you the current will take path like this right and as it is a short circuit means this uh, this term this one this one this one this one everything is a common terminal. So, 60 ohm kilo ohm and 6 kilo ohm they are in parallel right and uh, in that case uh, in that case you have to find out and here it is given that what is your V 1 and what is your V 2 that is this is nodal analysis is required. So, as soon as as soon as you close the switch right. So, there will be no effect on that initial your what you call on this your uh, initial value of I because it is a short circuit it is a short circuit right. So, I will come to that. So, that means, if you if you come to this at t is equal to short circuiting action of the capacitor right. So, then what will be your I 0 plus. So, this one first you have to find out look 100 here you look it is your what you call this your this is 100 volt right and this is actually first you find out the total current how you will do it uh, just one minute. So, suppose this is short circuit, this is short circuit right, then 6 kilo ohm and 60 kilo ohm are in parallel right, with that 40 kilo ohm are in series. That means, this 40 plus this 6 into 60 divided by your 6 plus 60, this is the total uh, your what you call, this is that your uh, total value of the resistance right because this this is short means this one this one are in parallel. Therefore, whatever it comes 
that means it will be that that means if I draw the equivalent circuit of this one, suppose then my I have only one your 100 volt source and one resistance is like this forget about this part just I am trying to make it this part right. So, in that case the current is flowing and this value this value is the this value that means let me clear it that means this 100 by 40 plus 6 into 60 by 6 plus this is the current this is your what you call this is the current coming out from the your source at the time of this thing right into 6 by the, then current division will be there then what will be the current through this let me clear it then this is the current and this is the current division right current we got 100 by 40 plus 6 by 6 into 60 upon 6 plus whatever car means milli ampere right then we want that what will be i 0 plus current division then it will be for current division part it is multiplied by 6 divided by 6 plus 60 right your what you call that your current division part the whatever current will your what you call your uh, flow your what you call that uh, your uh, uh, your current division part right. So, in that case you have to make just let me clear it. So, this is the total current this is the total current to current division into 6 by 6 plus 60 that is your 0 point this i 0 plus will become 0 by your uh, 0 uh, 0.2 milli ampere I repeat again I mean I do not have much space here for drawing it, but just let me tell you making it on it hope you will, will, will follow this this is plus minus this is my 100 volt right and this is my 40 kilo ohm right and this uh, as this is short as this is short these two are in parallel. So, if this is short then this is my 60 kilo ohm and this is my 6 kilo ohm right. So, I mean if you take the parallel of uh, equivalent of this this circuit will be your this is 40 plus 60 into 6 divided by 60 plus 6 right whatever it come that is your equivalent then 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 the equivalent circuit of only this part plus minus this is 100 volt and this is that your resistance right whatever it comes. So, this this current you find out I this is the total current coming from the source this I this 100 divided by this thing that means 100 volt divided by 40 plus 6 into 60 divided by 6 plus 60 this is the total current I here right. So, once it is done uh, once I is known right let me clear it once I is known then this I this is the I 0 plus we have to find out at the just when switch is just close. I 0 this means this I that is your total current I into your this uh, this I 0 plus is 6 and 60 parallel. So, 6 current division 6 by 6 6 right that is equal to actually I 0 plus right. So, that is what actually to save time I have directly made it it is 0 0.2 milli ampere right. Now, as the switch remains closed for long time capacitor can be considered to be an open circuit by nodal analysis. So, now switch is closed for long time. So, as the now it is closed that is instantaneous we got it now switch is closed for long time that means this capacitor is open circuited right it is open circuited. So, in that case here as it is open for that this V 1 you can write as a V 1 infinity steady state similarly this nodal analysis V 2 we have to apply as V 2 infinity right. So, that means, a steady state it is reached right? the switch was closed for long time. So, at this note you apply for your nodal analysis KCL here also you apply for KCL. So, this we have studied uh, much uh, studied before and so many problems we have solved. So, I am not uh, just directly I am writing those equations right. So, in that case if you write apply K your K KCL at the two nodes and you will get two equation in terms of V 1 infinity and V 2 infinity this is one equation another equation you write of your own right many things many things you have studied. So, no need to explain further just apply to that you will get those two equations and this is your this thing and solving equation 1 and 2 you will get minus 6 to 2.67 remember this voltage is taken is ok and your what you call this this current 20 milli ampere it is in milli ampere this is milli ampere and all are kilo ohm. 
So, that is why it is milli ampere and kilo ohm that is why 10 to, the, 10 to the power 3 is not multiplied right. So, that is why it is uh, your what you call equation directly written like this and V 1 infinity minus 62.67 volt right. Therefore, I infinity will be V 1 infinity upon 60 kilo ohm that is 16 to 10 to power 3 if you come to this I infinity this is I at steady state right. So, uh, if you you know that your what you call that your um, uh, V your what you call V 1 infinity and V 2 infinity these are the two nodal voltage. So, I infinity will be V 1 infinity upon 60 right. So, that is why it is written I 1 infinity is equal to V 60 kilo ohm. So, it is minus 1.04 milli ampere. Now, the thymine one correction I have to make it here. Now, the thymine resistance at the capacitor terminals are now here to find out the transient response you have to find out that R thymine right. So, across these two uh, uh, you have to find out what is your what you call that your uh, R thymine. So, if you uh, so R thymine means this is short and this will be open circuit it should not be there. So, right hand side it will be 40 plus 20 that is your 60 kilo ohm right this is on the because this is you want to find out R thymine. So, this should gone this is open circuit this is short circuit and this side as it is short circuit. So, 40 kilo ohm and 60 kilo ohm are in parallel with that 6 kilo ohm is in series that means left hand side I mean this side it will be your 6 plus 40 into 60 divided by 40 plus 60 right this side that means this side we can write it will be 6 plus that your 40 parallel to 60 it is this side right. So, this side this one and this side and all all this combination is parallel to your this 60 this 60 and we, we will calculate equivalent your what you call R thymine right. So, here in that here it is one one uh, your what you call one writing error is there. So, in this here correction is I, I wrote there that this bracket should not be there. So, 6 40 and 60 are in parallel with that 40 plus 20 uh, whatever it comes 20 kilo ohm right. So, this is a correction right. So, tau is equal to C R thymine. So, it is becoming 1 second. So, using the relationship you have to, uh, you have to it is written there reader is asked to derive this right. So, let me uh, clear it you will derive it, but uh, directly we are writing I t is equal to same same generalized expression for the current also I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity to the power minus T by tau. So, I infinity we have calculated minus 1.04 I 0 we have calculated 0.2 these are all milli ampere right and it is I infinity is minus 1.04. So, it will be plus 1.04. So, it is coming I t is equal to minus 1.04 plus 1.24 it is the power minus t milli ampere this is your what you call 40 greater than 0 this is the answer for i t right. The another one is that uh, figure 49 this switch is closes at t is equal to 0 second this is the switch closes at t. determine v c t and i t for t greater than 0 given that v c 0 is 100 volt. So, this is v c the capacitor is there initial voltage is given right that is V c 0 100 initially switch was your what you call switch was uh, uh, open. Now, as soon as you as soon as you close the switch right as soon as you close the switch and uh, suppose uh, you have to find out two things one is what is V c infinity. Now, now before going for the solution so this switch is closed this switch is closed right and it suppose this switch is closed for long time. So, this capacitor will act as open circuit right that means, that means voltage across the capacitor say we can write V c infinity right say we can write V c infinity because capacitor is 22.5 milli farad right. So, in that case what will happen this capacitor if there this part is open this part is open. So, first you find out what is the current right. So, I if this is I, I is equal to 300 divided by 40 plus 60 right. So, is equal to 3 ampere right then this 3 ampere current is flowing through this and V c infinity is nothing, but the V because voltage across this resistor 60 right. 
So, V c infinity because heat this is this side is open. So, nothing is flowing there right. So, V c infinity is equal to 60 into the current 3 is equal to 180 volt initial value was given V c 0 and V c infinity the final value steady state value is 180 volt right. Next what we have to do is we have to find out the time constant of the circuit. Now, let me clear it. So, as this is open as this is this is the capacitor terminal we have to find out the equivalent resistance thin in thin. So, this is sorted right. So, 40 into 60 parallel. So, R thin in is equal to your 16 plus this 40 into 60 divided by 40 plus 60 whatever it comes this much of it is ohm. So, this much of ohm. So, and and C is given 2.5 millifarad. So, tau is equal to C R thibnin you can easily compute right. So, let us go to the this thing. So, in this case V 0 is given that is V 0 plus and V C infinity I told you it is 180 volt we calculated and I infinity also we calculated 3 ampere right. And therefore, V 0 can easily be obtained using nodal, nodal analysis that means, suppose this uh, V 0 I mean this V you have to I mean uh, here. So, V 0 also one can your this for voltage across this one it can be obtained your from nodal analysis. So, here you have to apply KCL and this point voltage is 300 volt and this is initial voltage was V C 0 your what you call 100 volt. So, at this point. So, now you apply the nodal analysis suppose uh, and the way you take the direction of the current and accordingly you apply KCL at this point right. So, that has been done here. So, at the time of switch is closed right. So, uh, that V 0 plus can easily be obtained using nodal analysis of V 0 plus minus 340 that current is actually leaving the terminal plus V 0 plus upon 60 plus V 0 plus minus 100 by 16 is equal to 0 all current actually are leaving. So, that is why all sum it up right and if you solve this V 0 plus 132 volt right and I 0 plus is equal to from the circuit only V 0 plus by 60. So, 2. Point 2 milli ampere. Now, R thibnin is equal to 40 ohm whatever I told you tau is equal to you will get 0 0.1 second and V c t will be uh, your V c infinity I calculated for you 180 volt and V c 0 is given 100 volt and tau we calculated 0 0.1 second. So, T by tau. So, it is it is for minus 10 T. So, it is V c t is equal to 180 minus 80 e to the power minus 10 T uh, volt that is T greater than equal to 0 right. Similarly, for I t is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity is equal to minus T by tau right. So, I t is equal to 3 plus 2.2 minus 3 e to the power minus 10 t. So, I t is equal to 3 minus 0 0.8 e to the power minus 10 t ampere for t greater than 0 right. So, these are this is uh, you know little bit uh, coming to this problem diagram little bit to do it and uh, just see that only that little bit understanding is required. So, next one is next one is uh, this is uh, uh, this is very interesting problem. So, figure 50 determine the indicated voltage and current at t is equal to 0 plus immediately after the switch closes. Also find this voltage and current a long time after the switch closes given that capacitors are initially uncharged. This is the circuit it is given that as soon as the switch is closed what will be the value of I 1 0 plus V 1 0 plus I 2 0 plus V 2 0 plus V 3 0 plus I 4 0 plus and V 0 V 4 0 plus. Another thing is uh, another thing is and as the switch is closed for long time then what will be their values that means steady state values. Now, uh, so initially switch was opened switch was initially switch was open then it is closed right. So, if you if as the switch was initially open right and capacitor that is your charge capacitors are initially uncharged right. So, that means V 1 0 is equal to your V 4 0 is equal to 0 this voltage across this 3 microfarad capacitor is V 4 here it is and here it is V 1 right. So, in it is uncharged. So, V 1 0 V 4 0 is equal to 0. Now, with 0 volt across the capacitor they act like a short circuit. So, if, if they this this one your this V 4 and V 1 these two capacitors they act like a short circuit right. Therefore, Hence, the V to V to zero, V three zero is equal to hundred volt, right? That means 
uh, that means suppose if it acts like a short circuit if it is a, acts like a short circuit right suppose this is a short circuit and uh, as soon as you are what you call the switch is closed right so at that time if it is a short then v2 you are what you call the v2 0 and v3 0 will be is equal to 100 volt because nothing is here it is a short nothing is here it is a short right so v2 0 plus and v3 0 plus will be is equal to 100 volt so let me clear it so that is your 100 volt right now therefore i1 0 plus will be that means i1 0 plus so this is your i1 this is short that means v1 0 plus is 0 so i1 0 plus will be 0 by 10 so it is your 0 ampere now i3 0 plus this is your i3 0 plus it is your what you call voltage here it is actually one data is missing this value this value is 25 ohm right this is 25 ohm that is that uh, voltage across 25 ohm is v2 this is 25 ohm so i3 0 plus will be 100 by 25 then because this is short right so let me clear it so that means that means it is 100 by 25 for uh, your ampere similarly similarly for this one also this uh, capacitor uh, that v4 this is short and voltage act as soon as switch is closed that your this is short and it is close so it will be your 100 by 50 so it will be your 100 by 50 that is your 2 ampere and now if you apply if you apply your kcl if you apply kcl at this node at this node if you apply kcl so i3 0 plus is equal to i1 0 plus plus i2 0 plus you apply kcl at this node if you do so if you do so your uh, therefore, I 2 0 plus will be I 3 0 plus minus I 1 0 plus that is 4 minus 0 4 ampere. Now, second thing is the steady state a long time after the switch closes means the capacitor acts like open circuit right. So, in this case what will happen that switch is closed for long time uh, this switch is closed for long time uh, and at that time this capacitor will act as open circuit and this capacitor will act as open circuit then i4 infinity is equal to i2 infinity will be 0 because it is open circuit. So, i4 infinity the steady state value is equal to i2 infinity is equal to 0 because capacitor act as an open circuit. So, let me clear it. So, it is uh, your what you call i2 and i4 infinity 0. Now, also i1 infinity is equal to i3 infinity. Now, if you come uh, this thing i1 infinity and i2 infinity right now as this is as this is open as this is open and this is also open right and in that case you have to find out that your i2 infinity and i for this is open so nothing is flowing through this nothing is flowing through this and and this is open means i3 is equal to i1 because this is open right that means i3 and i1 so not this is open means it is not there it is open means assume it is not there it is open right and this is your close uh, so, in that case it will be 10 ohm and I told you here it is 25 ohm right this is missed actually. So, current through this that I 1 th this will be is equal to 100 divided by 25 plus 10 35 that is your I 3 infinity is equal to your I 1 infinity this is I the 100 by 35 ampere whatever it comes right because this is open this is open. So, no current is flowing here also and this is closed right and only thing is that this is the circuit and this is the circuit this is the current flowing right this is plus minus 100 volts terminal is given right. So, that means this is your your what you call I 1 infinity is equal to this one after that I am not going to circuit very easy to understand uh, V 1 infinity will be just 10 into I 1 infinity 28.6 volt look at the circuit and do it V 2 infinity will be uh, this 25 ohm across 2 is uh, that I corrected huh? it was not there in the original diagram, but 25 ohm is there right. So, 25 into 2.86 71.4 volt V 3 infinity 0 into 50 0 volt and applying KVL on the right hand mesh you apply KVL on the right hand mesh just do it no at steady state you will get V 4 infinity is 100 minus V 3 infinity. So, it is 100 volt. So, thank you very much we will be back again.